This is a device used to demonstrate standing waves. Now, despite the name, the waves are actually reflecting back and forth across the string. They're not standing at all. These fluorescent lights allow the string to glow so it's more visible in the dark. Here is the first standing wave, or fundamental mode. Notice that half of a wavelength is visible, or another way to say it is, twice of the rope's length is one wavelength. The second harmonic has a node in the middle, a place of zero movement, and two antinodes, places of large movement. A full wavelength is represented. Now these antinodes are of such large movement that if you touched one, you would mess up the whole wave. This is the third harmonic. You'll notice there are now three antinodes, of course, and two nodes. You'll also notice that the wavelength is two-thirds of the total length. That's this is one full wavelength. The fourth harmonic shows four antinodes and three nodes. A strobe light reveals that two wavelengths are present in the length of the string. Now it's time for a test of what you've learned. For the fifth harmonic, what would the wavelength be? How many nodes would be present and how many antinodes? Here we are, the fifth harmonic. One, two, three, four, five antinodes. One, two, three, four nodes. And the wavelength is two fifths of the length of the string.